Alright guys, what's up? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 32 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. So in this, we're going to discuss the random function. So, random numbers. Being able to generate random numbers is helpful in a number of situations, including when creating games, statistical modeling programs, and similar end products. In the C++ standard library, you can access a pseudo random number generator function that's called rand. When used, we are required to include the header CST uh, DLib. Define several general purpose functions, including dynamic memory management, random number generation, etc. Okay, so here's another like you know library we need to include. And we can call rand, and I'm guessing this was going to output a random number between zero and one. So which header file should you include to use rand in your program? Okay, so that would be the CST DLib, which is going to deal with memory management, and then it also has. Um, going to have our random generator. A for loop can be used to generate multiple random numbers. Okay, so again, I'm not sure what the upper bound is, but it looks like it's almost unlimited. So let's figure it out. So here, we're going to create our for loop, and uh, we're going to just call rand, and we're, this is going to give us a total of uh, 13 random numbers. Awesome. So use the modular operator to generate random numbers within a specific range. The example below, generate total numbers whole numbers with a range of 1 to 6, okay? So 1, we call rand modulus 6. So here's the uh, lower bound and here's the upper bound. Awesome. Um, so we're going to say uh, modulus. So this is going to be 1 to 9. Awesome. And the srand function, the srand function is used to generate truly random numbers. This function allows to uh, specify a seed value as its parameter, which is used for the rand functions algorithm. So here we have our main method and we call it srand98. So changing the seed value changes the return of random. However, the same argument will result in the same output. Cool. So what does the srand function do? So uh, it helps to generate truly random numbers. Awesome. So truly random numbers. A solution to generate truly random numbers is to use the current time as a seed value for the srand function. This example makes use of the time function we get to get number of seconds on your system time and randomly seed the rand function. We need to include the seed time header for it. Okay, uh, right. And uh, so time zero will return the current second count, prompting the srand function to set a different seed for the rand function each time the program runs. Cool. So fill in the blanks uh, to print uh, to the screen, a truly random number from 1 through 15 generated by the random function. So say srand and uh, say 1 to 15. Awesome. All right, guys, so that was it for part 32 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. If you guys enjoyed it, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.